Hello, this is Wes Fryer. Today is March the 10th, 2016, and this is a screencast to show you how you can create custom certificates for like professional development credit or something else when you are doing a conference like we just had an ed camp here in Oklahoma City or some other kind of an event. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is an example of one of the emailed PDF certificates that was sent to one of our participants, Jamie Ross. Um, this is the email message that was sent. It was a template email, but when you are clicking here on the attachment, you notice that it actually says the person's name and it has their hours filled in. So this is like a mail merge, except it's with email and it's sending a PDF document, which is kind of cool. So the way that you do this um, with a Google Sheet and a Google Form is by using this awesome free add-on, which is called Autocrat, A-U-T-O-C-R-A-T, and Autocrat is 100% free. And what you're going to need in order to do this basically are two different things besides Autocrat. So you're going to install Autocrat on your Google accounts and you're using the Chrome browser to do this. And you're going to need both a uh, you know template of what you're going to use for your certificate and then you're going to need your form. So this is the Google document that we used and you cannot use with Autocrat currently a Google slideshow or Google presentation. It's got to be a document. So um, the way I created this, I went ahead and pasted in this graphic and then uh, turned word wrap on so that the text would be over here on the side and then changed the font and the size. You can see over here I have these carrots, I guess they are less than symbol and, and or greater than symbol and less than symbol or whatever. Uh, you have those surrounding where you want your mail merge items to be. So in this case, we were just putting in the person's name and putting in the number of hours that they were saying they spent at EdCamp. This is self-serve professional development certificate. Then behind this is simply a shape. Uh, you can insert uh, shapes into the, um, into, well, no, I guess it's just a text box, isn't it? So it's, it's no, what was it? And I click on it and see. Oh, they're, yeah, and you can change the size of them. See, I haven't done this that much. How did I put that in? Um, I think I just put it in uh, by uh, putting in a text box, then putting it behind, and then changing the width of the border. I think that's how I did that. Okay, so we got a certificate. Uh, that's step one, or that's called demo certificate. So Let's next go over to our Google form. So over here, I just made a copy of the form that we had made previously for, for EdCamp. So you can at, ask all the questions that you want, you know, whatever. Just make sure that somewhere you're asking for the person's email address, okay? Because if you don't get their email address, you're not going to be able to send them an email. And <clears throat> we didn't actually do this, but you can uh, come down here and turn on data validation. And so you can say this is going to be text and it's going to contain an email address. And so that is going to be some verification. Uh, we had like 100 responses on our survey and I think we only it sent out 93. So it's possible either somebody didn't put in their email address on the form because we didn't require it either. It's a good idea to require it. Um, or maybe they you know, malformed or mistyped their email address. So this is kind of a, a little power user trick for your form that you can do um, verification. So here's how you're going to set up your autocrat. Now, when I click on responses, and this is on the new Google Forms. Again, remember, this is being recorded in March of 2016. You will, you will see responses here inside the form. In fact, if I go here, th this is the, the completed form. And so you can see that I've got 100 responses. But then you've got this little icon over here to view the responses in sheets. And so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to click on this. And when I haven't done it before, it's going to say Create Spreadsheets. You're going to click on that. And it lets you either select an existing spreadsheet or create a new one. And I'll just create a new one. And so it's going to actually make this spreadsheet, which did not exist until... I clicked that button. I, I just had my form. The results were inside the form. Now my results are going to be here uh, in this uh, spreadsheet. And the way that I'm going to set this up is I'm going to make this script. I'm going to tell my Google Sheet to use Autocrat and I'm going to set it up so that it runs every time a new submission comes in, a new row. So I'm going up to the, the add-ons menu, I'm selecting Autocrat and I'm choosing Launch. 
It's going to take a little second here to pull up. And if you've got, you know, ad blockers or something weird, if it doesn't show up, you might want to check that, turn off your extensions. But here I've got this sidebar that says Autocrat. So now I'm going to click New Merge Job. It's going to load up and it's going to let me choose how I'm going to do this merge. Now, if you have not already created your file that you're going to want to send to people, you could choose to create an example template. Um, but I have done that. So I'm just going to click on Drive and I'm going to select my, um, my uh, document. And it should find, there it goes, my demo certificate. I don't know why it didn't find demo. So I'll go ahead and select it because now that is going to be the merge template. That's going to be used for the mail merge for all of the attachments that are sent. And now I need to uh, name the merge job. So I'll just call it demo. It really doesn't matter what you call that. What we're going to do now is we're going to select the sheet from this Google Sheet, which it only this one only has one. If you had more than one, you could select the, the sheet that contains the merge data. And then remember when I showed you over on my certificate here, how I used the, the uh, two less than symbols and the two greater than symbols to designate my merge fields. Well, over here, that's where I'm going to line this up. So when, I, when it sees the tag name, what do I want it to match with? Well, that's going to be your name. And when it says hours, that's the last question. We asked how many hours did you attend? So that is the, the, the mail merge part. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now I get to decide a few things like where these documents will go and then how they're going to send. So naming convention to use. I'm going to call this demo certificate. And then I'm going to put uh, the person's name. Uh, you can bring any of the fields that you you uh, collected information on in here, and, and this is what the name will actually be inside my Google Drive. Um, you also choose what you'd like to create, and in this case, I was choosing a PDF. They're getting a, a printable PDF. I am also going to choose this box because what I want to copy here, I'm going to, up here at the top, it shows me the the tags that I can put in. So I'm going to I'm going to copy this and this was the name of the of the question that we asked here when we said your email address. Okay, you might just call it email address. I didn't make this form and um, the wonderful person who did it did a great job. Uh, but one of the things I will sometimes do is just put email address and then I'll put the extra information down here below. That just keeps the title shorter, but it'll work either way. So that whole thing is, is the name of that merge field. And then I say, you know, your PD certificate um, or whatever I want to call the title. And then I said, I can say hi. And now if I even want to, I could customize this. I could say hi and paste that in comma. Thanks for attending uh, our workshop. If I can spell, um, here is your certificate. Okay, and then uh, that is going to be that's going to be mailed to everybody. Now, I'm going to cho choose here uh, PDF. Okay, because it is going to include this merged file as a PDF file attachment. So whenever somebody submits, that's what they're going to get. And then down here under advanced settings, this is important because this is how you um, get it every time it's submitted. You're going to check this box to say run Autocrat when new forms are submitted. And so when people submit, that's going to run the script and they're going to get the email with the attachment. Actually, the order is it's going to create the the, the uh, Google Doc, it's going to make it into a PDF, it's going to attach it to the email, and then it's going to send it to the person. Um, I think this is also handy to say add folder. You can specify what folder uh, you would like for this to go into. I'll just use the EdCamp OKC one for this demo. And that way your Google Drive stays a little bit more organized, uh, but that's optional. You don't have to do it. So those are the steps. And now when I go ahead and click save, it's going to set that up so that this script on Autocrat is going to run every time I fill out that form. So you want to see it in action? Here we go. 
um, I'm gonna go ahead over here to my demo survey and I'm gonna go ahead and click send and I'm gonna go ahead and get this link and I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna open this up in an incognito window so I'm not logged in uh, and this is my demo survey so I'm gonna say Wes Fryer and I'm gonna have to put my email address in here and look at that it says it has to be a valid email address isn't that cool that's because I added that validation feature and so if I don't put in a valid email address, it's not going to let that. That just means it has to have something in front of the at sign with some domain dot some extension. Um, so I'm going to have to fill out everything which is a required question. Um, and then I go ahead and select my hours. And then I go ahead and click submit. All right. So it says thank you. And now it says you. Uh, I put this in the results for the survey. It says we've emailed you your PD certificate. So let's check it out. Let me go to my email and see if it came in. So, and there it is, your PD certificate. Hi, Wes Fryer. Thanks for attending our workshop. Here's your certificate from Wes, and I can click and ah, look at that. It's got my name on it, and it has a total number of hours. So you are now equipped to use the free Google Sheets add-on Autocrat, and you can create your own customized certificates. Now, of course, in this case, people are specifying their own hours, and this is something we're doing for EdCamp. So if you were going to be, you know, checking and verifying that people were present or and you were going to be assigning the hours or something like that, what you might do over here, um, and I'll edit my merge, is in, instead of, of having it automatically send, uh, you might just choose when to run that um, you might choose when to run that. So I'm going to double click demo certificate and it's going to open this up and it'll let me edit it. And so here at the bottom under advanced settings, in this case, you might not choose uh, run autocrat when new forms are submitted. Uh, in fact, you might not do it automatically at all. What you might do is manually run these. And so you can see here in the corner it says run merge so I could look at all my results make sure that this is right I've got all the right people in here or I could put the information in myself right you don't have to get people submitting a form you could put this in yourself and then when I click run merge boom it's gonna create those files and send those out so I hope that has been helpful to you uh, if you do not already you can read my blog moving at the speed of creativity which is gonna try to get me to log in um, at the website speedofcreativity.org and you can find me on Twitter at WFryer and I appreciate you watching. If this was helpful to you, uh, please reach out to me. You can send me a comment on Twitter using my Twitter ID WFryer or you can leave a comment here on the YouTube video. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.